Welcome, my name is Mary Wekesa. The government is seeking to borrow over 1.2 trillion shillings from the IMF and the World Bank beginning this month. Now, the country's debt has hit a distress rate of over 68% against the GDP. This comes after members of the National Assembly put more pressure over disbursement of the CDA funds. Our reporter Felix Wanjala kicks off our today's bulletin with that story. Don't worry. The money for you to disburse for bursaries in January will be in the account before the schools open. This was the statement by the head of state promising members of parliament of disbursement of the city of funds after the lawmakers' protest over the delay of the funds. President Ruto's statement remained as an empty promise. Due to the high pressure from the members of parliament, now the government is seen making arrangements of borrowing money from IMF and the World Bank. In funding coming from multilateral sources, bilateral sources, and I can also assure you that we have funding from uh, con um, uh, what I can say, uh, de DFIs, development financing, like TDB, Afriexim, and others that we, we, we could get from the market. And that is why we have a conversation with the World Bank, because we need close to 100 billion for water harvesting so that we can secure our country in matters to do with food security. The Ministry of Treasury has now started prepared to borrow 1.2 trillion shillings from International Monetary Fund, IMF and World Bank to be dispersed in a period of months to achieve government's program. The amount under the IMF program to approximately 4.4 billion US dollars. And this is monies that will be dispersed within the 20 months of the program. DPO, which is budget support, uh, that may be over $1.5 billion. We have also some additional windows under World Bank, what we call performance for results. And we have projects, five projects, that will cost about $1.2 billion. Earlier, the government had plans to pay the previous debt of the country. Now the debt is at distress position, hitting at 68% of the GDP. What I'm talking about is within the fiscal framework, that uh, uh, has, has been approved, which is uh, we are only uh, taking up what is in the deficit. Members of parliament are seeking to have a special sitting to consider an interest on debt ceiling to enable the government to borrow as required by the constitution. Felix Wanjala News Outlook, Tandao TV.